This video is about how to apply custom colored territories to your map. So here on the map I have plotted sales data for all the stores that I own nationwide. But I also have specific regions that I've determined and let's say that I want to apply those to the map as well. That way I can identify which territory each specific pin belongs to. So to do that I come over here to this layers button and I'm going to click on that and select add territories. Once I click on that, I'll then see a list here of all the different territories that I can add. And everything is alphabetical, so I'm just going to scroll down until I find U.S. states. And once I find it, I'm just going to click there. And then I'm going to change this name to Sales Territories. And then finally, I'm going to change the coloring from Random Colors to Paste Colors from Excel. Now, I have two options once I get here. I can either download a template, which will give me a list of every single state, and a color that it's randomly assigned, or I can just do it in Excel myself. So I'm going to go to my Excel spreadsheet. So here's my spreadsheet, and this is the format that you always need to follow, having territory as one column header and color as the other column header. And here you can see I have a list of every single state in the US, and I've assigned them a color based on the region that they belong to. And as you can see as well, I can either type in the name of the color, or I could use one of these codes and that will also be able to be interpreted by MapLine. So here I have them all, and all I then do is I'm just going to copy and paste all of this information back into MapLine. So I just click here on this box, and I'm going to paste in all that spreadsheet. And once I do that, I hit Continue. And there you go. Now I can easily see each individual state highlighted based on the region that it belongs to. And obviously, the pins are a little clustered, so I'm just going to hide those so you can get a better feel for how everything looks. And that's how easy it is to apply a custom colored territory using MapLine.